Shane Elworthy sends it up the line, but that'll be easily gathered here by Jack Hudson. But oh. Hudson has been dispossessed by Ed Durvin. This is a really good chance for Longford. They've got bodies in the area. Durvin crossed it. He was looking for Gurgi, but it's well held by Stephen McGuinness, who's come in to replace Adam Verdon. There's a coming together between Craven and Lynch, who just share a little exchange after that. Armstrong has managed to draw a couple of Bray defenders out. Elworthy with the early cross into Joshua Gurgi, and Gurgi scores again. It's his fourth goal of the season, and Longford hit the front. They've given the ball away in a bad place now. This is Gary Armstrong. Armstrong, good idea, didn't play off there. Uh, it must have got a touch. Oh, that looks like it was handled outside the area. Yeah, and the linesman has flagged. McGuinness trying desperately to keep the ball in play and not give away the corner. He's handled the ball outside the penalty area. But this is quite a way out for Massey. This would be one of his very best if he can find the back of the net from here. Perhaps, all, perhaps it's all just a bit of a, a deception. Yeah, it is. It's a shot on goal instead from power. Too much power from power as he drives it over the bar. Especially with Longford trying to bet in a new centre half there as well. Exactly. Might just take a few minutes and Bray are looking to capitalise in that period of time as power goes across to take the corner. It's a nicely floated ball in as well and somebody's got their head on it in there and it's just crept wide. Some of those balls stuck. Just another one to do us for the moment. Oh and Durvin again is forcing the mistake there from McGuinness. Lynch, will he have a shot? He will but he's got under that one Lynch. Was it? And it, yeah. Oh it's taking a deflection. Took a deflection, be a corner to Longford. Where Massey heads it away. Durvin, nice flick round the corner for Serenyuk. Back to Adam Verdon. Back to Serenyuk. Verdon again. Slips one in behind for Gurgi. Gurgi unable to keep it in play, but that was another clever run off the shoulder there from the Longford Town winger. Serenyuk as well involved in the passing. Massey looking for Walker, brilliant interception from Byrne, but the ball is still alive here with Darren Craven, and he's found Feeney, he's totally unmarked. Feeney with the shot saved with the legs of Jack Brady. What a player. Cross into the area, and there is space in here for Bray now this time. Nice one-touch football into the path of Walker, but again, Jack Brady read the, read the play really well and gets down low to snuff out that attack. Easily dealt with by O'Connor. Uh, it's a decent touch from Lynch, but... Oh, Almiral took a huge chance. If he had caught the town player, he would have been in big, big trouble there. It's Irvin into Gurgi, who's kept himself on side. Can he get there before oh. McGuinness? The answer's no. That's the big concern, Ian Ryan got yellow card there. We didn't see much interaction going no. on over there to, to warrant that, but... I think Longford need to just... That's keep a good touch and a decent effort, but it's well held by Jack Brady. That was Jake Walker. They've got players at the back post. Cole was one of them, but he's headed that straight into the gloves of Jack Brady. Yeah, well, well slain by Brady. Brady with a lovely bit of distribution. It's going to run through to Gurgi. Oh, and Gurgi didn't realise how much time he had. McGuinness had come off his line. Long ball forward. Elworthy does well to get up. He's headed towards his own goal. That's a good header, though, from Serenyuk. He's taken oh, like a duck to water there. Armstrong threads it through. Durvin, oh, he's just ran offside. But that was another great ball from Armstrong and a brilliant finish from A. Durvin. Easily defended by Longford, but they'll have to do that again. Goes to the back post this time. Cole was looking for it. It's headed away by Byrne. It's a scramble in there. Longford do get it clear. There was an effort on goal there, but Longford have managed to get the ball away. More energy, a bit more... Ambition Bray, the full backs were getting that little bit higher up, but they've been very quickly pinned back once again. As Adam Verdon nips in, does well to win it. Joshua Gurgi, he's got Durvin in support. Can he find Durvin? Durvin flagged offside, he never was. It's in the back of the net, but it's not going to count. But Durvin, first touch, but runs into Shane Elworthy. Oh, Shane. Elworthy, sloppy pass from him, and then he goes and tries to win a back off. Massey, but the ball was already gone. Here's Craven. Oh, it's a ball through. There's space here for Lyons, but Lyons has not got a hold of it. And that's a big let off for Longford Town. That's probably the first time in the game, Gary, where their defence has been. It'd be much better. I think you have more time than that, but that all came from that misplaced pass from Shane Elworthy. And Dara Lynch lobs a ball in behind for Gurgi to give chase to. He's definitely stayed on side this time. Gurgi plays it back across for oh. Cole in the right place at the right time, and he has hammered that one high into the night sky. From Craven. He was looking for Feeney. And now it's Longford's town to counter. What a little touch around the corner from Durvin. Lynch driving in on goal. Lynch took a little bit of a heavy touch. He's still got it though. It's still Darren Lynch and oh. it's cleared off the line by Dan Massey. Hey, Dur goal to nil. Power gives the signal. Stuttered run up. Got some nice curl on that, but maybe he's got too much on it. Oh, Brady seemed to lose himself in the penalty area there. 
It's headed back across. Sean Goal, acrobatic one. Good save from Brady. It was Darren Craven with the effort. He uses his size and strength to hold off the Longford Town man. Cole into power. Power able to pick his head up and find Connor Davis. It's a really good first touch from Davis. Appeals for a handball. Play goes on. That's well gathered by Jack Brady. It was an awkward one. It just skipped up onto his midset. Gives it back to the young man, Donahue, the 18 year old. A good ball through the lines here. This is Feeney who switched sides with Connor Davis. Feeney cross off the left. And there is Connor Davis. He's crept in at the back post and he's buried it against his former club. And it's 1 1. This is Max Murphy. Murphy too much on the cutback and he finds Gary Armstrong. Armstrong going to try and launch a counter for Longford. Wonderful dribbling from Armstrong. He's got two or three players in support. Can he find one of them? No. He's cleaned out of it by Power. Important foul probably for Power to make, although Armstrong be Power instead. Longford have got a draft excluder in there. That's Kyle O'Connor. He's lying across the floor. Longford have got five men in the wall. Massey with the shot. Massey just over the bar. I think he was thinking about pulling down the Bray player. He knew he was in a bit of trouble, but Victor does well. And Jamal, he's been absolutely cleaned out. Referee should play the advantage. Oh, the referee's had a nightmare here. He should have played the advantage. Jamal uh, was through on goal, and the referee in the area. Adam Verdon, left foot of ball into a really good area. It falls to Gurji, he's hit the crossbar. And Mo Burniaf plays is over from a couple of yards out. And that might be Longford's offer.